12 disciples a few thousand years ago changed this world for Jesus Christ. And they did it in three years. Most of them were under the age of 18, actually under the age of 17. They did it without social media. They did it without all the technology we have today. I believe that this generation that we have right now, not the future generation, because they are a generation of now, will change this world for Jesus Christ. I believe that with my full heart, my soul, my mind. That is why I do what I do. I love these youth, but more so, God loves them and God is working through them. The Holy Spirit is moving. Please keep this youth group, keep these youth of Silverton in your prayers. O oh, death, your pain and sorrow have met me again, because yet again your sting has had victory over me. You've taken close ones of mine, and all you do is remind my mind of you and tell me of hope I'll never find. You remind me of all my pain and sorrow, of false fake fantasies fooling me. This is you, sinner, hopeless loss, nothing new. No, but something breathtaking happened 2,000 years ago. A man named Jesus conquered the one thing that takes us all. This Messiah, this teacher, this preacher, who claimed to be king, proved who he was by defeating death's sting. But there's a new hope, there's a new life, the way, Christ the King, the Son of Man, the Great I Am. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? How long have you been attending SCN Youth Group? I think it's been at least a year and a half now. Yeah, I've been coming to youth group ever since I could. About six months. I've been coming to youth group for about a year and a half. Maybe two or three months. I actually started coming this year. I think since November last year. What things did you do with SCN Youth Group last, last year? Like some of the big events you went with us on. I went to camp and I've been to the All Nighters. I think that's about it. Okay. I think you went to Student Impact too, didn't you? I think I went to Student Impact too. Yeah. I went to Student Impact, uh, our Mexico mission trip, junior high camp, and Winter Jam. I've gone to Winter Jam. I went to the All Night Party. like in the last few months God has just really spoke to you, how the Holy Spirit is just really just laid on your heart. What how has that happened for you for you? I've been able to share the gospel better. Okay. And I've just been able to talk about it more. Where as a few years ago I wasn't able to go up to someone and if they had a question, I would be like, I don't know, ask someone else. But I feel like I can like God is can speak through me more now than he could before. I guess by like the just the inspiring um, like messages and uh, things that I've learned, um, it's kind of inspired me to spread the gospel more uh, through spoken word poetry and um, just going throughout the town and stuff like that and doing things with John. Give me 
one word about camp this last year. You had to explain it all in one word wrapped up. Powerful. It's powerful. I like it. Would you tell any junior higher wanting to go that they should go this year? They should. It's like you have those moments of like you can actually like be yourself and relax and you know like it's it's really moving. Um, God showed up to me at camp because like before I was I had been baptized and got saved and I knew him as my savior, but I feel like at camp I just got closer to him and the connection got stronger. more about Mexico. Uh, it was really cool to see when we went out in the streets of Tijuana and did a vacation Bible school with all the kids in that neighborhood. It was cool to see their face just light up and we were like just hanging out with them and having fun, playing sports and get them food. That was the most food they've had probably in that whole week. Mm -hmm. If you had to use just one word to describe SCNU group, what would it be? If I could use one word to explain youth group, it would be very moving. I would use the awesome. Life changing. I would edify. Deep. Deep. Awesome. Threes. What's that? Threes. With threes. I'd say it's been very moving in my life because I'm a totally different person than I was when I started coming to youth group. What would happen if, if we didn't have a youth group anymore? How sad would you be? really sad. I'm Zach McBean and I'm a child of the one true king. I am Ashley Bishop and I'm a child of the one true king. I'm Kenny Wilson and I'm a child of the one true king. I am Laura Taylor and I'm a child of the one true king. I'm Rebecca and I'm a child of the one true king. I am John and I am a child of the one true king.